this is the, the basic interface, the starting interface for Socrative, and this is where I'm going to start to start my assessment for my Algebra 2 kids tomorrow. What I really like about Socrative on the teacher side, well, on the student side also, is that everything looks the same whether you're, you're viewing it on an iPad or any other tablet or smartphone or on a desktop computer or on a laptop. Um, everything that you're seeing as the teacher, everything that the kids are seeing, on their side, no matter your device, all looks the same, uh, which makes it really easy. I'm going to start a new quiz. So I'm going to go here to Manage Quizzes, where it says I can create, edit, and import ones. The importing comes from Excel if you set that up, because it's really all based on a spreadsheet. I'm going to create a quiz. Here we'll name it Basic Exponential Functions. And you're just going to go down answer by answer and choose either multiple choice or short answer. Uh, I would choose multiple choice if I wanted Socrative to help me grade this, or have Flubrew help me grade this by automatically later. Um, I'm going to make most of these short answer. So let's do short answer. Click on the question. Does the equation represent exponential decay or growth. I could just type in my equation here. I'm going to add an image though, which is what we're here for. Add image. Boom. Look at that. They just let us choose a file. This is just like uploading something to a website now or attaching a file to an email, which even the most basic of techno faux people can do at this point, usually. So where are you going to get the picture from? Maybe you have a picture on some digitized version of a of curriculum from your book, or you have a screenshot from your book, or maybe you have like a benchmark that your district gives. I'm going to make a new equation. I'm going to do that in Google Docs. So I've switched over here to Google Docs, or Google Drive. I'm going to create I really just want a, 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 a Word document so I can use the equation editor. I'm not going to do anything with this, but take screenshots of it. Let's insert an equation. Mostly you can just, just type on here. So an equation will say y equals 5 times Three fourths. Let's make that look like a fraction then. To the X. Simple exponential function there. Once I have the equation, let's get out of the box to get that blue square out of the way. Zoom in a little bit so you get a good tight screenshot. And then if you're on a Mac, you can shift command 4. Or if you're on a, a, a Windows PC, you can use the snipping tool. And select your equation. It's going to go to wherever you save your screenshots. Mine go to the desktop. So we can go back to Socrative. Choose my file. There's the screenshot I just took right there. There's the equation. They also today added a grading short answer responses too. So um, before previously I would just have to grade this myself once it came on the spreadsheet, but now I can say that because the B here is, is less than one and greater than zero that this represents the K. Maybe I could add an explanation here. B is three fourths. 
which according to definition of exponential k should be between 0 and 1. Okay, let's let's put a graph on here with with Desmos so I could have the kids maybe pick out the growth rate or match matching equation. We'll do matching equations. So let's do multiple choice. Again, I'm going to need an image this time of of a graph. Here's one I pulled up earlier today in class. Let's make a new one now. Desmos, just type in what you want. Let's get initial value of 2. Let's get a growth rate of 1.5 to the x. Desmos gives you options of embedding or, or emailing pictures or posting it to social network. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to take a screenshot like I just did of that equation. Being careful that I don't take the picture of the actual equation so that I don't give it away. Go back to the creative. Choose the image. Which equation best represents the exponential curve? Before I go ahead and do the answer choices, I just remembered something that's really important when you take a screenshot. Uh, you'll see you can't really see a lot of the, the values on here. It's a pretty small picture, so if you're going to help your students to be able to read that, you should probably use projector mode when you're in Desmos. Hit the, the wrench there to adjust your settings. And that changes the scale some, so then kids will sometimes forget this is one, but it is, makes things more, more readable. Let's get a new screenshot that they're going to have a better shot at least seeing the numbers and where that y intercept is. Initial value. Let's replace it by remove most recent. No better. Let's put in some numbers for now so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have my quiz made. Now let's finish it and log into the student side to see how that's going to look. Save. Let's go back to the main screen. I'm going to now start a quiz. You can do this from your from a laptop or from your tablet when you're logged in as yourself. And I'm going to choose a student pace so that they can work at their own pace and finish and go on to whatever activity I have for them after quiz. Once students get logged in, that'll show up here. We'll see how many which students completed the quiz here. We'll see how far along they are here. Once I go to m.creative.com slash student on a, on a web device or just in the student app, if you're on a tablet or a smartphone, uh, right away it just goes right here. Kids don't have to choose the right quiz or whatever. Whatever quiz you're running from, from your side comes to them. So let's put in my name. That was DK, I remember typing. Positive feedback. All right, great. 
you can see that the, the image showed up a little bigger on here than it did on your side as you were creating it, so that's good. I can see that my y-intercept is 2. Might not be able to tell that at the point at 1, 3, so this might be a, a bad question on my part. Uh, but so kids can see the graph, they could answer some questions about the graph here. I didn't have a correct response checked on that on my side, so it just said thank you. And then they'll continue through their thing. So as briefly as I could there, that's that's how you can use Socrative and now images to assess your kids formatively and have some multimedia to go with it. Hope you enjoyed.